Hello, my name is Dave Kirk. I'm the founder of Health Throne and I also play guitar and do vocals. I am from Ganado, Arizona. I left Ganado in the summer of 2015, moved out to Phoenix just for job opportunities and to attend college. Um, I've been playing the guitar for 17 years now and some of my influences are a lot of early death metal bands and thrash metal bands such as Deicide, Cannibal Corpse, um, Exodus, Metallica, Slayer, you know, Testament. And um, yeah, I, I originally wanted to start Hellthrone in the summer of uh, 2017, but you know, unfortunately, it didn't work out as well as I wanted to. But you know, I came across an advertisement, uh, a drummer seeking to start a band or join a band. I sent him an email asking if he would be interested, and sent him a sample of one of my songs. And thankfully, you know, Ro responded, and we were able to get Hellthrone going. A month later, we came across Mike, and that's how Health Throne was born. What inspired you all to create the band? Well, for one thing, is I really miss the feeling of uh, being on stage. So, like, you know, you spend so much time writing a song. It can take anywhere between days, weeks, months, even years. And uh, just knowing that you put so much time, so much effort into making it sound really good, you perform in front of an audience and you know you get such a really good feedback like you know somebody's head banging somebody's trying to start a mosh pit and um, yeah it's just one of the best feelings that I've ever experienced um, also you know I performed with a lot of uh, bands from back home there's a lot of really good talent out there and you know, I'd really love to see uh, what type of talent is here in Phoenix Arizona what is your songwriting process? Um, typically what I do is I start it with the guitar riff. Um, I'll play something that I like and find a metronome that will match to it. So those of you who aren't too familiar with the metronome, it's just a click track that helps musicians keep in time. So instead of playing one song and gradually picking up tempo later on, you know, it just kind of keeps us at one consistent tempo throughout the entire song. And you know, it's really great for recording, really good for practicing, but once I finish one section of the song, I'll go back and start programming drums just to kind of get an idea on which direction I want to go with the song. You know, each drum beat, you know, has its own specific note. So, you know, I'm sitting there typing every single note out. If it's a fast double bass part, you know, I'm sitting at the computer for a while. Um, but once the song is usually done, I go back and decide whether or not I need a guitar solo, whether it should be like a complex guitar solo, a melodic guitar solo. You know, I look up to a lot of guitar players such as Marty Friedman, Alex Skolnick, uh, Jeff Loomis, Kirk Hammett. And, you know, I just try to, I just try to um, implement all of their ideas, include some of my techniques and ideas, and just sort of mash it all together. Uh, at the end of it, I, uh, I usually record bass. You know, I wrote the bass parts for all of the other songs. Um, just sort of, yeah, bass. And then after that, vocals is done at the last bit of it. What do you like about playing music together? Um, well, one thing is we have a lot of fun. You know, Mike, Ro, and I, we like to joke around, have fun, take the tension off the day. And uh, another thing is that we, we all have different ideas on songwriting. So Mike has his own inspirations. Ro has his own inspirations. You know, when we start to combine them all, it starts to sound really good. You know, some days what I'll do is I'll have Ro just, you know, play a drum beat. And then I'll follow his drum beat with my guitar. And then uh, Mike will either follow Ro's drum or my guitar. And usually it sounds really good, you know. So I'm really excited to collaborate on a song and, you know, make a, make a really good song together. Anything to share to inspire others to try musical expression? Um, yeah, just all I can really say is, you know, don't give up. Uh, give it your all. You know, you're going to come across a lot of negative feedback. You know, try not to let that get to you. When I first started Health Throne, I was told that the music that I'm writing would, is just something that nobody would want to hear. Nobody would be interested in. When I bought my recording equipment, you know, I was told that I should have spent my money on something else, that I'm wasting my time. But you know, it's got us this far, and you know, it's really something that I'm passionate about, writing music and playing and stuff like that, so it's really up to you, you know. There's really no right or wrong way to go about musical expression. 
you can write a really happy uplifting song you can write a sad song maybe something that will you know like pump up somebody but uh yeah you know just dive right into it you know i've been i put health throne on the back burner for you know in 2017 i barely got it going last year in july so you know just like i said just go for it you know you guys have my full support but you know thank you guys so much for watching this video uh if you guys have any questions if you guys want any help uh like any ideas for recording for trying to start a band write a song um feel free to reach out to me my name is dave kirk you can find me on facebook i'll be wearing the same exact beanie black t-shirt maybe a smile um but yeah i'm looking forward to hearing from you looking forward to helping you out if i can um thank you so much for res refuge for giving us this opportunity you know we really appreciate it and uh you know thank you guys again have a great rest of your day hey, my name is ro i uh play drums for health room i've been playing drums for about 13 years now we're from uh, new, new mexico a little community called nash chitty and i moved out to phoenix in 2016 been living on here for about six or seven years now my main influence is um, Tim Young of uh, Morbid Angel and Vital Remains, uh, Ray Wazir of Korn, and John from uh, Bad Wolves, and the former Devil Driver drummer. And the Hell Throne started back in 2021 of July. I remember I put out an ad online looking for a band or looking to start a band. And from there, Dave gave me a, emailed me, we uh, sent me some samples of his guitar, his music, and from there we met, and we were looking for a guitar player, which is a mic, but now he's our bass player. What inspired you to join the band? What inspired me to join the band was, I grew up drumming a lot. So, when I left Gallup in 2016, moved to Phoenix, it was just me here by myself. I didn't have my drum kit. My drum kit was back in Gallup in storage. So I, I got tired of seeing it sitting there, collecting dust. So I, 2021, brought it out to Phoenix, and here it is. My drums. I have my rug, labeled it. I have all my stands in there, my road case. So it's ready for shows. What do you like about playing music together? What I like about playing music together is that we all can connect, it's, it's funny. We all joke around, we, we're, having a, we're having a bad day. We go to rehearsal. It's all just positive energy in the room. And we all have our own creative side. So we uh, put it together. What is your songwriting process? My songwriting process is I would have Dave play a guitar riff. And that's when I'll come in with the drums or or it's either the other way. I'll just start playing a drum beat, Dave will come in with his guitar, then we just end up throwing it all together, bring in our own creative ideas and do a verse, chorus, solos. Anything to share to inspire others to try musical expression. First start from the bottom, then work your way up. It's gonna be a challenge. You're gonna get a lot of negative feedback from people and like when I first started I used to get bullied a lot about the drumsticks in high school and middle school like I would constantly carry my drumsticks with me and a lot of people would try to steal them or they would say I wasn't getting anywhere with drums or music but you know I'm still playing up to this day me, Dave, Michael, 
We're opening up for Soulfly, and it's a big step for us. It's Mike from Helldrone, and uh, I play bass. I've uh, been playing music in general for about uh, a little over 10 years now, uh, through uh, middle school and high school band. And I uh, started playing bass in uh, orchestra part-time uh, during high school. Um, but Influences are Tom Araya from Slayer, um, Justin Chancellor from Tools, Steve Harris from Iron Maiden, and uh, Cliff Burton and Rob Trujillo from Metallica. Uh, what was your inspiration to play together? Um, well, I messaged Bro because I saw his uh, post on Facebook that um, he was starting a band with Dave, and um, I offered to ask if they could uh, if they needed another guitarist. So. I showed up to practice uh, at the studio that, uh, at the Music Loft where we practice uh, with this big old giant rig here and uh, played uh, the guitar parts and learned everything and then um, the band that was next to us was like, yeah, all you need now is a bassist. And I was like, all right, well, you know, we'll look out for one. But uh, I have basses, so I just offered to play bass. Later on, picked up uh, this small rig. There's another 410 cabinet that goes on top of this one, but uh, Dave has it. So that's the, the bass rig, the um, Tom Araya's, uh signature bass from LTD, and uh, my guitar pedal board on this side that I also use for bass. I just kind of adjusted everything for that. But um, pretty much missed playing on stage all the time, and you know uh, whether it was during school concerts or. Uh, Playing in a live local bands back at home in Gallup or around Wind Rock and Ford area. Uh, it's good to be, you know, back in a band setting and playing on stage again with uh, Dave and Ro. Okay, so what is your songwriting process? Uh, obviously, you know, um, bass usually sometimes follows guitar or follows the drums. So uh, usually I'll follow Dave for a while, you know, kind of get one of his uh, main riffs down and then um, while he's playing his solos, sometimes I'll carry that through, or I'll harmonize his solos with him um, using some of my effect pedals and, uh, through that part, or, you know, uh, lately we've been messing around with uh, trying to make some new songs, and I've been trying to incorporate those effect pedals into whether it's the intros or somewhere in between, or just leaving, you know, a distortion on to give it a little bit of extra boost or a little bit of grit. But, um, I'll use those or uh, I'll uh, try and use uh, different techniques and skills that I've learned from uh, playing other band songs, um, like through the tablatures or uh, watching it on online or, um, you know, harmonics or applying what I've learned uh, playing guitar and trying to apply that to bass also in a weird way. So somehow it just still works out. Okay, so uh, we do have a, an EP coming up um, from the title after our first track that's already on Spotify and all, all other major uh, music platforms, Apple Music, YouTube Music, uh, SoundCloud, whatever have you, um, but it's called Awaken. Uh, so that's going to be coming out soon. Um, we're going to be releasing that. Uh, I can't really exactly give a date on it, but uh, sometime around between now and... Uh, March 19th at the Soulfly show um, that's going to be happening at the Juggernaut in Gallup uh, and then after that we also do have another upcoming show that's in uh, Cameron, Arizona coming up sometime in April uh, it's a fundraiser show so we're going to be playing with Mutilated Tyrant, Alliance uh, and a lot of other um, well known uh, res metal bands or um, you know, native led bands or that come from near and far Okay, so for the fourth question, uh, we're at the studio right now. And uh, advice for other musicians, probably just keep practicing every day. Practice when you can, even if it's for five, ten minutes or a whole hour, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as you're practicing every day and uh, just have a good time with it, that's all that matters.